In this video, we are going to discuss fraction, decimal, and percentage. Let's use a simple example to discuss all three of them. So let's say I have a cake. The shape of the cake is a square. Let's draw a square. The shape of this cake is a square. So this is what I am going to do. I am going to cut this cake into four pieces, all right? And I am going to take one piece. So I'm going to take this piece. So how do you write a fraction? This is how. So first, we draw a fraction bar. And then we are going to put a number below the bar. And that number is called denominator. How many pieces do I have? I have four pieces. And then how many pieces did I, did I take? I grab one, right? So And then I have to put a number above the fraction bar. And that number is called numerator. So since I grab one piece, so that will be one divided by four. All right. And then how do you put that to a decimal? So one, one over four simply means one divided by four. That is equals to 0 0.25. So this one is a fraction. This number is decimal. And then how do you convert a decimal to a percentage? I take 0 0.25 multiply by 100, so that means you take the decimal point, move the decimal point two steps to the right-hand side, that equals to 25, so 0 0.25 is the same thing as 25%, all right? The concept is like you have $1 bill, right? You have a $1 bill, and then you want to divide this $1 bill into four pieces, or I should say you want to divide this dollar bill into four quarters, and you take one of the quarters. So since you have four quarters, you grab one. That means you out of four quarters, you grab one. All right. And how much is a quarter worth? A quarter is worth 25 cents, right? So 25 cents is 25%, which is a quarter of a $1 bill. What if I grab two pieces? Those, let's grab two pieces. So I'm going to have the same cake. So now I'm going to cut the cake into four pieces. I'm going to grab two pieces, this piece and this piece. So out of four pieces, I grab two, right? So that means I grab half of the cake. So if you don't want me to shade that piece, I can just erase quickly erase that for you. So instead of taking that piece, I will just take this piece. So now in this picture, you can clearly see that I just grabbed half of the cake. So this is 2 over 4. 2 over 4 is the same thing as 2 divided by 4, which is, is equals to 0 0.5. So 2 over 4 is a fraction, 0 0.5 is a decimal, and the percentage, you take 0 0.5, which is the same thing as 0 0.50 times 100, so that is equals to 50, so 2 over 4 is the same thing as 50%. Now, 2 over 4 is 50%, right? So 2 over 4, this is a 2 over 4, so 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. So as long as you divide the top and bottom by 2, so 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1, 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2, 1 half, 1 half is equals to 0.5, 1 half, right? one half, half of one dollar is 50 cents. So 50 cents. And then 50 cents is 50% uh, of one dollar. So that's the relationship between fractional, that fraction, decimal, and percentage. So let's take a look at an example. So in this example, I am going to convert a fraction to a decimal. So this is how we are going to do it. We take the numerator divided by the denominator, round the decimal according to the given direction. So this one, I want you to round everything to three decimal places as necessary. So the first value is one half, so that is part A, so we already did that one, so that is one divided by two equals to 0 0.5, uh, but 0 0.5 is one decimal place. How do you do a three decimal place? Easy, just do 0 0.5000, no, 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 one, 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 two, two, two zero. So this is three decimal places because I keep three numbers on the right hand side of the decimal point. And then part B, I have 1 over 4, which is a quarter, right? So that is equals to 1 divided by 4. That is equals to 0 0.25. If you want to keep one more decimal place, simply add a 0 on the right-hand side of the 5. So that's how you do it. And then C, 
c is 3 over 4, so 3 over 4, so that is equals to 3 divided by 4, that is uh, 3 quarters, right? So 0 0.75, keep one more 0, so 0 0.75, 0. So that's how we convert a fraction to a decimal. And then part D, we have 2 over 5, so this is 2 divided by 5, 2 divided by 5 uh, is equals to 0 0.4, and then you want 3 decimal places. If if you write 0 0.4, no one can take points off, but sometimes, uh, let's say you are doing a homework on, on, online, sometimes they would like to see 3 decimal places, then you put then you add 2 extra 0 on the right hand side of 4. But if you do everything on paper, this is perfect. If someone force you to use 3 digits, then this is what you have to report. Like I said, GPA, let's say your GPA is 4, you, you 4.0, you don't say my GPA is 4, right? What is, what's your GPA? My GPA is 4, my GPA is 3, you don't say this. You say my GPA is 4.00 or 3.00, all right? And then part E, so we have 6 over 25, so part E, we have 6 divided by 25, so this one you take 6, divided by 25, that is equals to 0 0.4, right? 6 divided by 25, just type 6 divided by 25 in your calculator. Oh, by the way, when you type this in, a, in your calculators, especially a graphing calculator, they do not use this division symbol. They use 6 divided by 25. This slash means division. is equals to 0 0.24, keep an extra 0, then we make that three decimal places. And then F is 14, divided by 35, so you take 14 divided by 35, and you have 0 0.4, so that is equals to 0 0.4. So 14 divided by 25, let's, let's put two, two zeros in there, 14 divided by 35, so the 14 divided by 25, so 14 is 2 times 7, uh, 35 is 5 times 7, so it's, since they share 7 in common, so if you divide the top by 7, 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2, 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5, so 2 divided by 5 is also equal to 0 0.4. This one, we just reduce the fraction, all right? So 14 is 2 times 7, 35 is 5 times 7, divide the top and bottom by 7, you get 2 over 5. And then Park G is uh, 70 divided by 120. So Park G is 70 divided by 120. So you take 70 divided by 120. So do this in your calculator really quick. So you should be you should see that 70 is not divisible by 120, right? Because you have 0 0.58 followed by a bunch of threes. Right? That means 70 is not divisible by 120. So since you have to keep three decimal places, then we will just keep this three. This is not greater than five, so we are not going to add a one to the three. So this is approximately, use the sign, equals to 0 0.583. And then the last one is H. So H is uh, 5 over 2. So that is equals to 5 divided by 2, 5 divided by 2, five dollar you cut that into two pieces so you get two dollars and fifty cents right so two dollars and fifty cents that is perfect if you want three decimal places then simply add two more zeros on the right hand side of five all right so that's how you convert a fraction to a decimal uh, before we end this video i also want to uh, tell you that in statistics sometimes you have to use a complex fraction so complex fraction. Complex fraction is simply you have a fraction divided by another fraction. So let's say you have A divided by B, A over B, and then the whole thing over C over D, a fraction divided by another fraction. You can write it like that, or you can do A slash B, C slash D. So this is a complex fraction. You have a fraction inside another fraction. All right. It doesn't have to be a fraction on top and bottom. You can have uh, A over B divided by C, or, or C divided, or D divided by uh, X over Y, okay? 
as long as you have a fraction one or two inside a big fraction then the whole thing we call that a complex fraction so how do you divide fraction so we take the top a over b multiply the reciprocal of the denominator so reciprocal that means you swap the position of the numerator and denominator so c is no longer on top so that is equals to a times d divided by b times c so let's do a quick example so let's say um let's say you have let's just do a perform the, the, the division so let's say you have a uh, 2 over 3 and then you want to divide it by 4 that is the same thing as 2 over 3 multiplied the reciprocal of 4 so 4 is equals to 4 over 1 the reciprocal of that you swap the 4 and 1 so that will be 1 over 4 then uh, you you can simplify the 2 and 4 so that will be 1 and then 3 times 2 is equals to 6 all right so now I am going to give you three complex fraction I want you to convert that to a decimal for me okay so first I want to give you a I want to ask you to convert one half divided by 5 over 6 so that is one half divided by 5 over 6 which is 1 half multiply 6 over 5 reciprocal the 2 and the 6 can be simplified 6 divided by 2 is 3 so you have a 3 over 5 so 3 over 5 is the same thing as 3 divided by 5 that is equals to 0.6 and then b I want to try uh, let's say 4 over 7 divided by 9 over 7 so that is 4 over 7 divided by 9 over 7 which is 4 over 7 multiply the reciprocal so the 7 got cancelled we have 4 over 9 and then you take 4 divided by 9 4 divided by 9 is equals to 0 upon a bunch of 4 right 4 4 4 4 4 and then the 4 repeats forever so if you want to keep it depends by it depends on on the problem do you want to keep a two decimal places if so then we keep the first two so we say that is approximately equals to 0.44 all right and then the last well, let's do one one more last one 2 over 3 divided by 14 over 45 so that is 2 over 3 divided by 14 divided by 45 and then we take the reciprocal 2 over 3 multiply 45 over 14 and then let's do some uh, simplification so 14 divided by 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 14 divided by 2 is 7 and then we have a 45 divided by 3 which is equals to 15 so 3 divided by 3 is 1 45 divided by 3 is 15 so overall that equals to 15 over 7 so 15 over 7 and then you take a 15 divided by 7 and then that equals to uh, that 15 is not divisible by 7 you get 2.14287143 that's what I see on my calculator so depends on you how many uh, decimal places do you want to keep so let's say you want to keep uh, four decimal places you want to keep four since 5 is greater than or equal to 5 you add 1 to the 8 so you say that is approximately equal to 2.14 2 a plus 1 is 9 so that's how we go from a fraction to a decimal so that will be all in this video if you think my video is helpful click the like subscribe share this video out for me I appreciate your help really much I see you all in the next video